How to build a mining rig, step-by-step -step guide. What does cryptocurrency mining need? Cryptocurrency mining needs the right hardware, a mining pool, and software. It takes a lot of guidance, knowledge, and patience to initialize the whole procedure. This tutorial will help you reconstruct a 6GPU mining rig for mining cryptocurrencies. It is meant for individuals who do not have any experience in making computers on their own. A mining rig is a hardware that is accountable for adding new coins to the existing circulating supply of any cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency mining eliminates the need for a governing third-party centralized entity. We will design an NVIDIA-based mining rig running on Windows 10 operating system. However, this tutorial can be used with any operating system and or an AMD graphics card as well. So what is the difference between NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards? When contrasting NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards, the main dissimilarity is the chips at the core. Each is agreeable with a host of different cryptocurrency algorithms. It is recommended to use a NVIDIA GPU because one needs high expertise for AMD cards to be installed correctly. You will need various computer peripherals, components, an OS, mining software, and a wallet to gather the mined cryptocurrency. We will be making use of a NVIDIA GTX 1070 for this Bitcoin miner tutorial. A list of possible GPUs is also included. The whole procedure can be completed within three hours if everything goes correctly. So hey guys, welcome to Billionaire Crypto Investor, where we tell you about how to build a mining rig. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon so you never miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. Here comes a question of how to build a mining rig. After you've successfully collected all the components needed, you will have to begin assembling the rig. Now, it may seem like an intimidating task initially, but it's like building a Lego set if you follow the instructions accurately. Step one is attaching the motherboard. Your six GPU plus capable motherboard should be kept outside the mining frame. Experts advise putting the package box with foam or an anti-static bag beneath it. Before going for the next step, ensure that the lever holding down the CPU socket protection has been revealed. Step two is attaching the processor. Next, you'll have to affix your processor to the motherboard. Insert your chosen CPU into the motherboard socket. Be careful while detaching as there will be some thermal paste stuck to the CPU fan. Make a mark on both the motherboard socket and the side of the CPU. These markings require to be done on the same side while attaching them or the CPU will not fix into the socket. However, you require to be extra careful with the CPU pins while placing your processor into the motherboard socket. They can easily flex, which will damage the whole CPU. You should have the guide handy with you at all times. Make sure you refer to it when you install the heat drop on top of the CPU. You'll need to take the thermal paste and bid it to the heat sink surface before you attach the processor. The heat sink's power cable should be attached to the pins titled CPU fan. You should check your motherboard manual to locate it if you do not spot it easily. Step 3. Installing RAM the next step assumes installing the RAM or system memory. It is quite simple to insert the RAM module into the RAM socket in the motherboard. After opening the motherboard slot side brackets, anxiously start to push the RAM module into the RAM socket. You have to be extra careful though of this step, as the RAM can only lock into the socket in one way. Sometimes you require a harder push to place the RAM in the correct slot, but be careful not to damage it. The side brackets are designed to lock in accordingly when the RAM has been fitted correctly. For step four, fixing the motherboard to the frame. Depending on your mining frame or anything you're using as a substitute, you have to carefully attach the motherboard onto the frame. You should take extra care when grasping the motherboard as you do not want to scratch the bottom. In case you have a mining rig with a metal cover, the motherboard should only tap the frame at the point where the holes for screws are present. Tightly attach the screws to attach the motherboard firmly. Step five is attaching the power supply unit. Your power supply unit should be set somewhere near the motherboard. Make sure you have sufficient space in the mining rig to include the PSU in it. Search for the 24-pin power connector existing in motherboards. They should be attached to the motherboard securely, or the mining rig will not kick. The CPU's 8-pin power connector should be connected to the motherboard located near the processor. You should always be cautious not to mix up PCIe 6 plus 2 power conductor and the CPU connector as they are both 8-pin connectors. CPU cables are thicker in collation than the PCIe cable. Step 6 is attaching USB risers. 
The X16 USB riser has to be gathered with the PCIe X1, which is the shorter PCIe X1 connector. This hangs onto your riser models. You might need either a PCIe 6-pin connector or a Molex connector to connect it. Be careful while connecting all, and be in tune with the power cables to each of the USB risers. Use at most two Molex or SATA connectors for each PSU cable. Do not connect three or four power connectors to three or four risers as it can destroy them. Step 7. Attaching GPUs The graphics cards must be placed safely on the frame using the USB riser. You have to attach all these connectors to the enduring five GPUs later. Step 8. And the final step. Lastly, you are required to make sure that the cables are correctly connected. The graphics card which is connected to the main PCIe slot should be attached to your monitor. After connecting the mouse and keyboard, begin to turn your rig on. Do this by connecting the power switch to the power pins on the motherboard. If you're not sure where to find it, you can check the motherboard guide. If it boots, it's a sign that the rig's working fine. When everything is accurately installed, you'll see the BIOS message shown on your screen. So, if you want to ask me how to install the other 5 GPUs, then I will answer that for you right here in the same video. You should access this next step with caution as this can get quite tricky. The following steps will consult you through the entire process to set the remaining 5 GPUs. Before starting, ensure that the mining rig is powered off and comprises the master power on the PCU. Go ahead and attach the riser card and GPU to the open slot that's closest to the processor. Attach the motherboard with the riser card. Power on the PSU to turn the mining rig on. Next, log in and go to Display Adapters below Device Manager. You should see the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 card arranged. If not, then refresh the page until it appears. Repeat these steps so you get all the cards on the Device Manager without any alert icon present. Always make sure to power a maximum of two 1070s per power cable and a maximum of two riser cards per power cable from the PSU. Also, you should attach and power the GPUs one by one so that you can quickly isolate any issues that may arise when turning them on. And I think that's going to do it for our video for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click on the like button and please make sure you share it with all your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for us, please make sure you share them with us in the comment space below. We always love to hear from you, our viewers, and without you, we wouldn't be here to do this channel for you. If you have any other kind of feedback or anything else on your mind, please let us know. We don't say this for nothing. We always love to hear from you, and it really makes us feel good to know that we are connecting with you. So let us know what you thought about our video, if you would, please. Also, if you have any, maybe, requests for future topics of our video, let us know and we will definitely take that into consideration don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel where you'll see even more of our incredible videos and of course i gotta remind you press that bell icon on your way out the door that way you are always notified of our latest updates and uploads and check out all of our other videos that have been specially selected just for you hey we'll catch up with you in our next video thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day